All right, welcome to another feature in five minutes. Now we're being joined by Mr. Cato Grace. Cato, how you doing, man? Good. How are you, Pete? I'm doing well. I am excited about this one because I, as you know, I am an old school SRM guy. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, so much has changed over the years with SRM and disaster recovery. So um, you have a demo now with disaster recovery as a service. Is that correct? That's correct. Can't wait. Yeah. So let's uh, start off. So right now we're in our VMware Cloud on AWS uh, console. And you can see we've got a couple of clusters. Yep. And what we're going to show is uh, let's let's just take a look in vCenter and look at what our environment looks like. So if we pop over to hosts and clusters, we can see that we've got four different clusters, and they're configured in two different vCenters. And this is one of the kind of cool things with uh, VMware Cloud and AWS is we have this hybrid linked mode. So we're seeing all of these environments at the same time. Okay. So we're seeing both our on-prem, which is this vCenter up here at the top, and clusters 0, 01 and 0, 02. And then down below, we're seeing our VMware Cloud and AWS environment. So got it. looking at each one of these environments, first off, cluster 1, we've got 10 hosts. We've got about 500 VMs running here. That's in New York. Cluster 2 is in Tokyo. Again, about 500 VMs running in this environment. Now, within VMware Cloud and AWS, we have two clusters that kind of match up to those. And one of the things that you'll notice here, well, two things. First is, is that these are smaller clusters. There's only three hosts in each one of these. Yeah, I see that. And you can see that these our VMs are placeholder VMs. So if you're familiar with SRM, this is what SRM does to just kind of give you an idea of where your VMs would get recovered to. They're not actual VMs, but... Uh, just more of a representation. Yeah, this lets you know where they will be in the event of a, deba- of a failover. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, cluster two looks much the same, similar number of hosts, uh, all of those VMs. And we're going to experience now kind of every admin's worst nightmare. So our New York cluster just went down hard. Okay. All 10 of those hosts went down. All of our VMs are now showing as disconnected. You know, we're in disaster recovery mode. Who would have thought in the middle of a DR demo? I know. Yeah. Who knew? <laughs> so let's take a look at uh, what happens now. So uh, let's go over to our site recovery console and open up our replication pair. And here we'll see, we see some errors. This is just related to the fact that uh, that site went down, and yeah, so sure. obviously replication's not working. We'll pull up our recovery plan. We have these recovery plans that we've predefined uh, for recovering our New York environment and recovering our Tokyo environment. And you know, standard site recovery uh, deployments, uh, recovery plans, all of your steps are pre-planned out. We've got our dependencies, our priority groups. Already defined. been tested. Everything's ready yeah, to go. Everything's yeah. tested, ready to go. And we're just going to go ahead and get this recovery plan kicked off. And the the big difference here that you're going to see, you know, a lot of times people have questions about that planned migration versus disaster recovery. Mm-hmm. And you're actually kind of seeing what that the, the difference is right here while this recovery plan is running, that we are having some errors. And those errors are related to the fact that we're our production site is down. Yeah, you, you probably know? couldn't true up before you did your failover. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, we're not able to replicate before we were able to uh, get that kicked off. However, all of our, if we look in our, go back to our vSphere console, we can see that all of our VMs have recovered. So oh, yeah. everything's, all, all, our whole environment is back up and running. Everything is all set the way that we needed it to be. And the other really cool thing that you'll notice is that that cluster is now no longer three hosts. It's now eight hosts, and we're right in the middle of adding that eight, eighth host, which is why we still have that uh, warning sign there. But while we were running that recovery, at the same time as we were adding, recovering those VMs, mm-hmm. we were also adding hosts into the environment. On demand, just scaling, on, just bursting. Scaling it up. <laughs> because that's what VMC gives you is, you know, you go from that ability to add additional hosts you know, in a regular environment, mm-hmm. you know, adding a host takes weeks, months, potentially, yeah. you know, to you can add a host in 10 minutes. So we can kick that script off as part of that failover, get those hosts added, and 
you end up with everything recovered. Oh, you can actually write the deployment of the host into the failover script? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. that's amazing. That's beautiful. So. Hey, that's, that's failover. That's DR as a service in five minutes. Thanks, Kato. Yeah. For welcome. more information and good demos like this, go to storagehub.vmware.com. Mm -hmm.